<laughs> Are we smelling ourselves? That's a weird start. This isn't going to make it into the video. <clears throat> wow. As makers, we often see something that we want to buy, but then we stop ourselves because we think, we can make that. And today, we're actually gonna make the thing. Yeah. An iridescent gem lamp. We're also gonna buy it. I mean, we already have bought it because at the end, we wanna do like a comparison. It's actually gonna be a little bit of a spreadsheet, but we wanna see like, was it worth it in the end? So the thing that really caught our eye about the gem lamp was how it was so iridescent. And it is made out of glass. Yeah. Now, that's a little bit intimidating, but you know what we do have? Acrylic. But the unknown thing is, can we laser cut it? Because yeah. it's kind of a complex shape. Well, the main thing is like, this is kind of mirror-y. Will like, this reflect the laser back up into the projector and destroy our laser cutter? That's what I want. Oh, it's all mirrors inside the laser. And we're gonna be bouncing high-powered beam. It's only partially reflective. <laughs> and the unknowns don't end there. Oh no, my friend. How are we gonna join it? The one thing I worry about the gem lamp is I've been looking at the picture and wondering like, what is the joint? Is it solder? Is it glue? Is it epoxy? If it's epoxy, we got that. I'm still like a little concerned about this laser test, but I, I mean, but I'm down to go for it. Mm. <laughs> I like how your reassurance is. Uh, yeah. Thank well, first, you. First, let's apply it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's apply the film. So we actually have two different iridescent films left over. <laughs> left over from our wood and resin computer case. So we're going to be trying both of these. One to see like is one better at not melting and catching fire when we put it in the laser cutter, but also is one like prettier than the other. I don't know. They look very similar. The acrylic that you buy to go with our laser cutter, the Glowforge, has this protective paper on it. So what if we can reapply the protective paper over the coating? It, it might, it might. Maybe that it will. It might do nothing. Maybe it'll ruin it more, but I, I feel like that's another test we can try. Yeah. Yeah, so let's prep our sheet with our films. You know, what if we're lucky? What if this is the hardest part of the project, just applying the film? It should be pretty easy. So how this film works. I remember it being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, how this film is supposed to work is you apply soapy water. That lets you like work out all the bubbles and everything like that. And then you let it dry and you end up with a perfect near finish. Yeah, but do you not remember how long this took us the first time? Like no. we didn't even include it in the video because it was so long and painstaking. Oh no. How are we gonna um, differentiate between these two sheets? This like, one's longer. Yeah, but once we um, cut it, we're gonna need to like label them. We'll label them. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> With a sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> God, the sharp blades, my sir. <laughs> yes. These sheets are supposed to have a protective film. You're supposed to separate it before applying it. So you have a up? piece of tape that you're trying to... Oh, oh there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you uh, get the soap and apply it to the, the, the thing? Do you remember how much? Like a you, decent you, amount, right? You can't overdo it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I do remember how finicky this was. Right? Okay. You grab the plastic there. I'll grab this. And then as it gets towards the end... <laughs> What? As it gets towards the end, what? We're towards the end. Do you want? Do I let go and do I hold it closer to that? Oh, oh it's curling bad. Would it make more sense to use my two hands and your two hands instead of your mouth and two hands? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, spray this. Mm -hmm. It is rolling. It is sticking onto your shirt. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I might spray you in the face. You only need the middle. You only need the middle. Well, I thought you said, I thought I was supposed to spray a lot. You didn't say only in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we'll just apply it. And there's no wrong way to apply it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? It looks that? cool. Did you see that? It went on so so smooth. It does. It looks different. Like it's different colors it's from different every colors. direction. That's what's so cool. Because like we're making this faceted gem-like thing. Hopefully when we all put it together. 
every Ooh, yeah. facet will look like it's a different color even yes. though it's the same material yes on all of them i'm like already seeing a preview of it like there's yellow there's pinkish purple there's a blue yeah this one's this one's a good sheet this one's a, a good sheet. this is a good sheet this is the good sheet and as you squeeze the water out what's left over should be the adhesive and then it should start sticking whoa that was a juicy one So already guys, this is looking epic. It goes from like orange to yellow to pinks to blues and then back to those um, oranges and yellows. I think that the difference between the, the two different films isn't much. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't really see a difference. You know, but maybe they'll perform differently in the laser. Yeah. I don't know, we also have our uh, sticky protective paper covering them. So now we have four cuts to do. And a fire extinguisher, we also have that. So the protective covering on the front that didn't seem to damage the film at all did seem to protect it from any spray Oh, marks. yes. Oh, wow. If nothing else, we know that we can reuse some of this protective paper, but is it yeah. necessary? Can we just uh, move forward without the protective paper covering? <laughs> okay. It's on, it's on the clothing. Now, there are like little pops of light though. Yeah, that is a little weird. I think it's kind of a good sign that when I go to peel this paper off, it doesn't peel the yes. um, iridescent film off. That was one of my worries. Oh, really? You didn't even make me worry about it. I said it like five seconds ago uh. when we peeled it off. So the protective covering on the front, that didn't seem to damage the film at all. I was listening to you very carefully. Wow, actually, this is like really durable. Hello? I feel like the lasering maybe like melted, melted it, it on. Yeah. Like kind of sealed the edges in. Wow, I really wasn't expecting this good of a result so early. This is way more durable than I thought, honestly. This is the first film. This is the second film. I like this film more, I believe. It's a little bit more clear, a little bit less foggy or something too. Yeah. It seems. So is the paper worth it? It's a little bit more hassle, but it did seem like a little bit less flashy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do it just in case. Okay. Now, all we have to do is 3D model this very complex shape. 3D model tour. Yeah, so I just started with a hexagon base. I did a extrude outwards at an angle. I did some cuts. And then there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit simplified. But like, it gets the gist around. And I also designed a little base right here so that there's an open area on the bottom so that we can install LEDs and mm -hmm. access it. I, I did a small scale experiment. I thought it was gonna be small. It's big. <laughs> yeah, it's like almost full size. <laughs> almost full size. <laughs> and um, one thing that we we're really wondering how to do is how to attach all these pieces together. It's a very complicated shape. We have it temporarily held in place with blue tape <laughs> on the inside, but do we use glue? Do we use resin? Wait, we're gonna use resin. <laughs> it's but like, cause, because as always, resin isn't just a construction material. It's also decorative. Look at this joint that we did a test on. And then we, we realized how we should probably show you guys this. this. This was working so well. I think we're just gonna do this and we'll show you the rest of the test. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at this beautiful syringe of shiny. Oh my gosh. So you just put a little tack weld right there. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Okay, that, that, that ended up working out okay. I'm not filming it at all, but priorities. You're not filming it? No, I'm filming oh. it, <laughs> but it was like over here. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty cured. We'll do this corner right here. Okay. So you also have to go pretty fast. Otherwise, the UV resin might go through and sink down to the other side. Yeah, our um, joints are not perfectly right. sealed. <laughs> the joints are not perfectly sealed, so we don't want it to drip. All right, let's get the last two. I'm gonna do it with my thumb. I think my thumb has better control. 
It is, it is beefy. That is a thick thumb. Stout. It's stout. This is a very delicate operation. I know. All right, go, go. <laughs> and you have to hide the syringe of glittery awesomeness afterwards because yeah. you don't want that to cure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is working way better than I even imagined. I also worried that the glittery pigment inside of here was gonna mess with the cure. Me too. You know what I mean? Like, whoa! So it's okay. And doing this whole lamp, like this is gonna be so nerve wracking, but also beautiful and glorious. I know, it is tough though, cause it's like one of the final steps. I know. That's always nerve wracking when the final step is kind of the, one of the most hardest. Yeah, yeah most hardest. <laughs> now I, I really hope that the tape can come off because if the, if the tape can come off, it makes this step way less stressful. Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. With this in mind, yeah. I think we can move forward with the full scale <laughs> actual piece. That's with, like with the fancy ten, material. Yeah, that's like ten percent bigger than this one and has fancy material. Final round of laser cutting. Yeah, let's do it. See, it is bigger. This was a small scale test. <laughs> yep. Look at the inside though. Look at how cool that is. I know. <laughs> While we were assembling it, we tried not to freak out too much. I can't wait to peel off this like blue protective layer. Yeah, oh my gosh. But we're gonna go ahead, before we do all of the seams, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna tack all the corners and we're gonna mix up the custom sparkly UV resin. Yes. So let's do that now. All right, in an effort to uh, block UV lights, I've modified this syringe. <laughs> it's just great. like, you know, a, a metal tip, because metal doesn't let UV light in. Mm -hmm. And then I just did like thick black tape. There we go, <laughs> now we don't have to worry about the syringe curing. Of course, you also can't really see how much is in there. That's okay, as long as some is going in there. But what if you had an air pocket, because you use it all up? And then the air pocket goes. <sighs> then that's unfortunate. <laughs> you know, would it be easier to pour from the top? It's risky to oh, mess with it. No, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Yes. And then... Oh! <gasps> it dripped. No! It dripped. No, no, no! Go on the resin floor! Right there. And then let's... Cure it. Cure it, just in case. I lost the spot. I looked away. Sorry. The downside of resin floors. I think it's an upside. Cause it all just blends together. All the <laughs> resin that we add, it's gonna like become stronger and stronger over time. You know what I mean? We're just gonna have like a mound <laughs> over here by the workbench. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. Now I think that everything is strong enough that we can take away the reinforcing tape on a few of these joints, mm -hmm. kind of like one at a time, then we'll UV weld that seam. And it's gonna be great. Yeah, you wanna do the first one? Yeah, I'll hold it like this. We kind of try to go confident. Oh God, I saw that shake. <laughs> no, don't, don't make laugh. me laugh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> that is working. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I, I don't want to be relieved too soon. Like, what if the lights don't work? What if other things? What if it looks ugly? <laughs> this video is sponsored by Raycon, and they say that their earbuds fit so well that they won't fall out no matter what. So to test this, we're gonna play a little slow-mo game that my younger cousins like to call shaky face. Shake. Raycon's optimized gel tips are so comfy, whether you have Kaylin-sized ears or Evan-sized ears. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're oh. staying in. Literally the earbuds are the only thing staying in place. My skin <laughs> is moving more than the earbuds, my cheeks. <laughs> and because of that, we basically live in these earbuds. Here it comes. Oh. Luckily, they offer eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. Oh, the jowls! Oh, 
<laughs> I don't know who's is worse. Oh, but the you know ultimate. what? The Raycon stayed in. We mostly use ours to listen to podcasts when doing things like designing thumbnails or cooking. Raycon start at half the price of other top audio brands, but sound just as good. And if you need one more reason to feel good about Raycons, they have over 48,000 five-star reviews. So click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Evan and Caitlin to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Are you guys ready for a glue tour? Well, a resin tour. We glued it Look together. Look at that it feels so solid we went ahead and added some glue to the inside too oh my gosh look at the inside guys oh my god we say this every time but this is one of the coolest things we've made oh my gosh <laughs> i know like there's a couple corners where the material kind of peeled up a little bit and i'm like oh my god preview <laughs> so freaking cool like ah. now the lighting is something that we really struggled a lot with because if you just stick a normal light inside of here you can just you just see, you the, see light. the light. Even just this still looks cool. Like I know. glowing from the seams and everything. It looks like silver. And with the light in there, it looks like golden glowing veins. Like right? I love how they diffuse and pick up the light. Yeah. And even though our um, resin lines are a little bit imperfect, it just kind of adds to the look of it being like soldered together, which is what you would do with glass. Anyway. Let's talk about the lights okay. because there's been a lot of laser cutting going on so here. So much laser cutting and a lot of gluing. So it all started with this really cool COB LED, which is really neat. It's really hard to see the individual lights. It looks yeah. more like a continuous line. You kind of laser cut this spiral guide that like holds the LED at regular spaces so that we get a nice diffused pattern. But we need more layers, we need more diffusion. So we just like started stacking, <laughs> like let's add this one here a as nice the lid. Lid, yes. Let's add this one for one layer of diffusion. Let's add another one with some nice diffusion material. We were really just experimenting. <laughs> yeah, but it looks nice. You look yeah. at from the side and like- And on also, the very top we have the same material that this is made of, yeah. the color shifty. That alone, this right here is just a nice little chunk, right? I mean- <laughs> It is, it's a very nice chunk. This little outer frame will be gold mirror to hopefully help reflect the light around. Isn't it insane that like this is all laser cut? All like laser it's cut. all laser cut pieces to make this crazy 3D thing and be able to like stack things and nest things and make a crazy spiral. Like yeah. it's so cool. So cool. But I think with all of these things in place, we're ready for the final assembly. And then we get to unbox the one we bought and compare them. Ah! Ah. We're gonna peel the stickers. We're gonna glue layers. We're gonna tape something. <laughs> and it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna look awesome. Montage mode. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's broken. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did we already mess up? No. I can fix it. I just have seconds to fix it. Okay, is that okay? Ooh. Ooh. God, I didn't expect this montage to be so stressful already. Ah! God. <laughs> Hello? But this is the real, this is the real moment. You ready? Yeah. <gasps> yeah! That's so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, it's so much more like neon than I expected. Oh. But like, I love it. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's wow. Like really neon. And Look like, at I that. And love, I love the actual light source too. Me too. And how it reflects and like the infinity-ness. It's, it's kind of trippy. Like, look, look from down here. As one looks at lights, yes. As one, yeah, I know, right? And it looks great on camera too. Look at that. I know. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking cool. I'm really proud of this. I'm like this really proud like, of this. Like look at look at look at look at when it moves, guys. I know. 
It's really cool. Everything that we just made, we think is the coolest thing we ever made. But this guys, is the coolest one. This though. is a magical, magical creation. Like the facets are kind of trippy in a really cool mm, way. Very and cool. And the colors way. are so pretty. It's just such a nice little nugget. It's a really nice nugget. Look <laughs> at it. I mean, the buy has a tall thing to stand up to. Shall we finally open it? Let's finally open it. It's been months, literal months. For a limited time, we have charms available. These are gonna be available for the next three weeks. We'll have links below. You can put these guys on your backpack, on your fanny pack, on a necklace. Oh, but what about a cat? What about a cat? Um... On your cat? No. We'll have links below if you would like to get your own. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I'm so curious. Was everything worth it? Do you hope that it's better or do you hope that it's worse? I don't really know what I hope for. There's a... Ooh. Okay. Wait, is it bigger than ours? That looks about the same. It might be up on foam. Okay, cool. They're about the same size. How's the weight? Heavier? Significantly heavier. Three, four times heavier. Wow. Whoa! Ooh, whoa! 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 Oh. Whoa! How did they do that? The edges, the edges. The how edges. did they do that? I don't how know if you guys can see that? this. I thought there would be like soldering. Yeah, what it's the It's like heck? grounded over glass. It's glass, right? <gasps> oh! Honestly, like we did pretty good pretty on getting good. a similar shape, they look, similar color. They look like cousins, right? Yeah, they look like cousins. I, I mean, ours is sharper, which is one look. Theirs is, is kind of wavier and more natural. Feeling. Yeah. They must have some way of like spraying and adhering in some industrial way, the iridescent. Once it was already put together. Once it was already put together. That's why it's perfectly smooth over all the seams. Whoa. Well, that's cheating. <laughs> okay, so we'll turn ours on. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. We'll turn theirs on. Also nice. Also nice. The, the you know, camera's picking up the flicker a little bit when it's dimmed. It's just the camera. Oh, it's wow. not flickering in real life. It's just like the... But that's wow and wow. Wow and wow. And wow. Wow and wow. Honestly? Honestly? I... I really like both of them. Okay, well, should we do our final, our, our, our official official comparison, Vibers DIY comparison? I, I, I just wanna absorb, just, just a moment. Okay, let's just absorb. Okay, let's start with our first category, which is the aesthetic. Which one looks better? So, I think for the outer shell, I do think that the buy looks a bit better. The glass does look a little bit more professional with the smooth corners. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, if you look closely on ours, you can see a little bit where Seepage. our UV resin seeped. You don't notice it from far away, but it, it is there. Yeah. But I like our light I better. I like our light better. Our, our light, light looks better. Is better. Cause also, theirs like, is just like the single bar. Theirs is just a single bar. Ours is a diffused like grid. I mean, from some angles, it's fine. Yeah. But from other angles, you just see, you just see the a light. bar of light. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was the whole reason why we did this distributed yeah. mesh. Uh, I might have to give this one just a slight aesthetic win, just because like from some angles, the light still looks good. The this wins, side. but I'm going to give us a ton of credit here. Ours oh, yeah. looks amazing. Great. Yeah. I love it. And some people might like ours more. Ours does have a bit more of a modern yeah, feel, I would say. It's a sharp geometric thing mm -hmm. that looks great. And it does have more of that like infinity stone vibe. Like turn them both on again. Yeah, when you when you look deep into ours, everything is mirror-like and reflecty. Yeah. Honestly, it's really hard to choose. Like I, I'm going back and forth. Like, is it a tie? I, I don't want to let my bias chime in, but I think that the aesthetics might be a little bit of a tie because I think it might be a bit of a tie because like I, like in some ways I like the natural waviness and in some ways I like this more. I think it's a tie. I think it's a tie. I, I, I would have such a hard time choosing. They both honestly look fabulous. Yes, I love them both. Okay, <clears throat> next the quality, as in the build quality. I think it's gonna have to be the buy. Like being yeah. glass makes it feel higher quality. So yeah. I'll, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Next is function. How does it light stuff up? But also, how bright is it? Well, that's kind of, that's what I mean. 
right? DIY first. Oh. <laughs> Looks so great in the dark. It's so cool. I'll do a little rotation so you guys can witness its glory as it moves around. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a brighter light, I, I, but. Does that necessarily mean that it wins the function? I think one downside of this one is it has a good side and bad side, which makes it a good it less side and bad side, yeah. Um, also, there are some parts about our base because it is not fully glued in place, like but more serviceable. That's this true. This is like glued into the base, a metal base, glass here. You cannot open it. You cannot change the light bulb. You cannot service it. You can't service the light. I think that's part of function. I think so too. Yeah, and actually, in a way, this is very harsh. It is harsher. I don't know. I might give it to ours, honestly. For the function, function yeah. this one doesn't look good from every angle and you can't service it. I think so that, I think that lowers the function. I think that all the time we put into the actual light element is really saving us in this it's virus saving us DIY. The shell know, of this is much better. Okay, are you ready for time? Yes. So we calculated out how much time this one took. A full day of designing, a full day of prototyping and testing, a full day for laser cutting and gluing the shade part, and two days for designing, laser cutting, and assembling the light base. Yeah. So that's a total of five days <laughs> of work. And honestly, those five days were spread out over two weeks. But five days, and this shipped in three. Yeah, and so, it, the only work was ordering it and taking it out of a box. So, yeah. you know, with the Biverse DIYs, we always include time because we think it's interesting to yeah. share how long these projects can take, but there's a clear winner. Especially in this, sometimes we can build the DIY before this would get in. That's true, that has happened. So, but this is just a complete L for us. The final is price, and I actually don't know, you calculated the price. All right, so how much was this? That was pretty uh, expensive. $200. $200. I think, I think $199. Okay. And the final price on ours, drum roll please, 124 and 98 cents. We're cheaper? We're cheaper. Wow, so we win it on price. Yeah, okay. so, so most of that was in the acrylic. No, yeah, of course. That's pretty good. Disclaimer, disclaimer, you know, we have these tools and materials. We have the laser cutter. Some people may not have it, but some people might also have access to like a maker space or whatever. Okay, so. It's fully tied. It's fully tied. You know what? That is fair to me. That's fair. That's fair. Because uh, I, I, I do truly think that we won in some categories and they won in some categories, and I feel like that's pretty fair. I'm pretty dang proud of us, honestly. Yeah, I'm really proud of us. Congratulations. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> My Can hands are doing this. I start. To... <laughs> We can order some and try it. So we're gonna and go put our problems. Just kick that further down the project path. Put our problems as kick that down the project. <laughs> just, just take our problems and go boop. For later. For later. Yeah. <laughs> I think what's going on? <clears throat> I wish we could just. Take open. it out. I know, it's I mean, against the rules. I have no, the knife. No, 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 no. It's right here. That's against? We could just like. That's we against? Just, we could just kind of like. You, you can't, you you can't stop it. me, I'm too tall. <laughs> anyways, got to do it anyway, so. Anyways, got to do it anyway. What are words? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the shirt. Shop at NicaleIn.com. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to do it! <laughs>